Hey y'all, stop all that jibber jabber and listen up. Mr. T thinks he hears a baby crying. I think I just need to go pick him up. No, honey. Wah, wah. But Joe, it's so painful. Honey, you know what Dr. Ferber said. Let him cry it out. Wah, wah. But honey, it, it just hurts my heart so to hear him crying. Wah. But honey, you know it's a form of manipulation. Babies that cry all the time try to manipulate their parents to come and pick them up. If you go and pick him up, you're going to be spoiling him. Wah. I just wish I knew what to do. Hang on just a minute now. Mr. T is here. Mr. T here. Baby crying. And Mr. T don't like hearing no baby crying. Mr. T, is it really you? Yeah, I heard the call. Y'all need some help. Listen here. Mama, first of all, you go get that baby. Wah, wah, wah. Come here, Tommy. Come here. It's a good boy. Yeah, that's right. Calm that baby. Soothe that crap. Let me explain something to y'all. First of all, Mama, the reason you feel so much pain when your baby is crying is because when the baby sends a cry, it's a signal to the mama's brain. And it signals your own stress in your brain, and it tells you to come soothe the baby. Babies cry because of stress. A stressed out baby starts to cry. It's his only signal. He don't know what else to do. And not only that, y'all didn't know T knew a little bit about brain science. A newborn baby doesn't have the mechanisms to be able to calm himself. Daddy, I heard you talking about manipulation. Well, well, that's what I was always taught. That's what that's what I was always told, and that's what the, the Ferber book says. Hey, stop all that talking about that Ferber jibber jabber. That Ferber, that, I read that book once. I threw that book out. T believes in the Sears method. William Sears, and that, that brother knows what he's talking about when it comes to soothing babies. Babies don't have the natural ability to calm themselves. So you see right now what mama's doing? She's soothing little Tommy. Look at little Tommy. He looks so much happier. She's soothing his brain. As mama's soothing his brain, she's also helping him develop the mechanisms to soothe his own stress. It ain't about no manipulation, Jabba Jabba. If you want to learn about calming babies and helping babies go to sleep, read some Dr. Sears or visit my friend's website, thebabycalmer.com. She knows about helping babies soothe themselves. All this Jibba Jabba Dr. Spock was talking about back in the day about letting babies cry themselves to sleep. Dr. Spock came back and apologized. And you know that's a big deal because doctors don't usually come back and apologize about nothing. But he knew it was wrong putting that jibber jibber out there. So, don't let babies cry themselves to sleep because their brains are not yet developed enough to be able to calm themselves down. We as adults and as parents got to teach our babies and equip them with the mechanisms for calming their own stress. See, that's why we have so many adults right now got all these sleep disorders and sleep issues. Too much crying yourself to sleep. It's not good for the baby's brain, so don't do it. Clear? We're clear, Mr. T. Thank you for the guidance. All right, y'all out there in TV land, I'll catch you next time. In the meantime, don't be no fool. Be cool.